Before we start, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle's estranged half-sister believes she and Prince Harry are likely headed for divorce unless the Duchess becomes more honest and the couple get extensive counselling. Samantha Markle, whose sibling claimed in an explosive TV chat last week that she could hardly remember her half-sister and hadn't seen her in years, told TMZ in a videotaped interview that Harry may already be thinking about Splitsville, given the damage she says Meghan has done to the royal family. Maybe he's already questioning it. He has to be if he has a functioning frontal lobe. He's not twelve, Samantha said of the prince. He's got to have a sense of, oh, my God, everything you've said to me has been a lie, she said of Harry and Meghan. I see, the marriage, ending in divorce unless they get extensive counselling and can agree to work on being honest, to work on apologies, to work on everyone that they've damaged in the course of this bull in a China shock two-year spiel, Samantha said. Whatever it is, I must say Prince Harry is experiencing genuine sadness in being away from the royal family, notes body language expert. Darren Stanton told GB News, I think he's quite torn between being over there and the UK. He's feeling genuine sadness at not being in the thick of it. He added, the eyebrows basically come together and the mouth drips and also when people tend to go like that with the lips that is almost like a self-reassurance gesture. So in terms of the facial muscles engaged in among the lips, and then also there's a change in physiology. These comments come after Harry told Cot B that he is living his best life in America. Mr. Stanton continued, so what I look for is, people often get the deception aspect incorrect because when people are under pressure, there'll be an emotional shift. So I am looking for emotional shifts in people's body language. What we saw within that was Harry's lips, if you watch, will go quite pale and that's to do with an emotional shift. The host then asked the expert, is that in knowing how he feels and unconsciously endeavouring not to show it? Absolutely, replied Mr. Stanton. There's also what we call a linguistic deflection, which in real terms means he is effectively avoiding the question. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks.